Hey everyone, welcome to Good Witch Intuitive Tarot. This is your two week reading. It's for anyone with cancer placements or anyone else who's guided to see this reading for whatever reason you've been guided here. You could be a cross watcher and I could directly be talking to you. You should know who you are in the reading. Gender doesn't matter at all to me in this reading. I may say he, I may sh say she. Remember, I'm just reading a picture. All right, so however you resonate. Anything could come out till the very last second of this reading. I can't stress that enough. If you hang out at the very end, I might come back on camera with special messages for people. It happens sometimes. It happens when it happens. All right, let's do it. Next two weeks for Cancer or anyone else who's guided. I have to stop for a second, Cancer. I forgot your Oracle cards. Uh, I don't know why I forgot them. It's just I completely spaced out on them. Hold on one second. Okay, Cancer, let's pull you some Oracle cards real quick that I've completely spaced out on. What do we need to know for Cancer, please? What are the messages for Cancer? Yeah, lack, consciousness of lack. You could be leaving a uh, changing energy here. Let's see what else. That's a state of consciousness. Yeah, look at that transformation happening. I, I That's what I was feeling immediately. So you've got consciousness of lack here, but there's this new cycle coming in and see how it's the transformation and how we walk down that walkway and there's a whole new world down there. It's like a hologram almost. And behind the veil here, behind the curtain, there's look how happy everything is. Something's changing for you, and you guys have really gone through it for the last few years. So this is actually going to be a really awesome change. Look at the energy change, and I think I said that immediately. It feels to me like the energy is going to change. Look at that. Planning and strategy. Planning and action. I'm sorry. And see how there's like a yellow brick road that takes you somewhere and look at all there was planning and action that went into this planning and strategy. So this for me says you're really pulling yourself out of a difficult time out of what once was the, the number five card the five of pentacles this you once were in the five of pentacles and you st still might be but there's a change coming so um you might not even know this behind the veil it's like spirit's going to present you this whole new world um now the planning and action i keep wanting to call it the planning and strategy i feel like you've done the work is what i'm feeling there's even like you know tools here there's a compass here as well. So it's really possible that you could be um, move. It's like you're moving in a direction. And look at there's two cards with pathways on it. Now this could be a physical mover. This could be all more um, a, a, a spiritual nature, an internal nature. This is like could even be like a metaphorical kind of a, a move. Um, let me know guys if you're if there's a physical move going on or if it's you that is moving from within um, brand new cycle spirit and angels anyone for the highest good what do we need to know here what are the messages you like I said some of you might not even know this transformation is about to take place because it is behind a curtain there there's like um, it's like a whole new world and once once you walk down the path down the two paths here and into through that curtain it's like a whole new world um and the number five card means change so what do we need to know for cancer or anyone else who's guided to see the cancer reading what do we need to know about it what are the messages i know we already shuffled these but i wanted to give them a quick shuffle again what are the messages here for anyone okay Hierophant. This is the High Priest card. That's a number five card as well, by the way. You have the New Cycles of five card, the Consciousness of Lack is a five card, and the Hierophant's a five card. So there's change coming in here for you. What do we need to know for cancer here? What do we need to know? What are the messages? Look at that. You got a challenge of the moon. So you might not know it. That's all. I feel like the moon is just saying you don't know. Even if you know something of it, you don't know all of it. Uh, it's better than you think, though. So I, I just think that seeing it clearly or feeling confident because you don't. A lot of times we're afraid of things because we don't know how they're going to turn out new beginning ace of ace of wands gorgeous 
Emperor Reverse Justice. Hmm. Interesting. Tell me more. Death Reversed. Oh, look at that. The tower came out directly on its side. Wow. All right. So what was this for? I don't even know why I kept shuffling because um, this is so interesting that that came out like that. Because um, I was supposed to start looking at the bottom of the deck. And look at that. The two of staffs right there. So this is really interesting to me. The two of wands is the two of staffs. And look at the knight of coins is right behind that. And the chariots reversed right behind that. So there's a new opportunity coming in where you're actually going to be able to move forward where you couldn't before. There's a change happening here, Cancer. It's ten of pentacles. Look at that. All right. So something's changing in your foundation. When I see ten of pentacles, I feel like this is something changing within your foundation. Um, there's an opportunity it's new and you'll now be able to move forward or make a decision maybe you couldn't make a decision before because you didn't really know how things were going to go this has something to do with um, I almost feel like well the towers has to happen so the tower came out and for some reason I kept shuffling in the tower pop I like popped out immediately on its side saying this is the challenge we have um, Emperor Reverse and Death Reverse. This could be a lot of stuck, stubborn, kind of, I can't budge, I can't move energy. And I feel like it's your energy, Chariot, because it's right there. Now, this also could be that you couldn't move because you didn't have all the information. So, in other words, I can't move forward because I don't have this information I need to finish this journey. I'm trying to gather all my tools. Look how all the tools are being gathered here. I'm trying to gather them all, but I don't quite have them all yet. Um, and I feel like this is a real internal kind of a thing. You know, maybe it is physical as well because you might be heading into this brand new beginning. And this could be, um, it really could be in anything, but I feel like it's a very spiritual, um, journey that you've been on here because I see the journey everywhere. I see behind the curtain feels like behind the veil. There's other plans that spirit has for you. Uh, but you have to actually initiate the change. So, you know, that part they can't do for you. And they're trying to get you to actually bring the tower down. And the tower is actually some kind of change. Let's find out. All right. Spirit and angels, anyone for the highest good. Now, remember, guys, we go all the way into uh, after tarot here. I don't know. Did I even tell you guys what these decks were? We have Quantum Oracle. We have the really cute Miss Cleo deck where they kind of interact with each other in some of the readings. We have the Celtic Universal deck, and we also have the After Tarot, because remember, these are two-week readings, so we want to know where we're going with that energy next. And if you haven't seen your monthly readings, I used the After Tarot and the monthlies as well to see where we were going into the new year. Next, I'm going to be working on your big beginning of the year January readings. So if you have not subscribed to this channel, well, something's wrong with you. There's the subscribe button right below. Hit it. Hit the little bell for notifications. Click all so that you actually get the notifications. Because if you don't click all, you don't get any notifications. Totally up to you, of course. But really, there's a lot going on here you could miss out on. We do daily readings every single day. All right, let's do it. Spirit and angels, anyone for the highest good? What do we need to know? Cancer reading for anyone who's guided. Cancer reading for anyone who's guided. What are the most important messages we have for the people who need them the most? Cancer reading. All right, let's do it. All right, take a look at the moon. What's the moon doing here? What do we need to know about this moon, please? The moon, it's a challenge. Yeah, absolutely. Look at this. So the Six of Pentacles is here and the Queen of Wands is here. The Queen of Action. The Queen of actually getting unstuck from this and moving forward. I really feel this is all about you taking action. You deciding, I'm going to go, I'm going to go right down that path and into that new world. Even if I don't know what's there, I'm going to take the action anyway. Spirit says it's going to bring some kind of balance in for you. So go. Opportunity. Again, 
Knight of Pentacles. Again, there's opportunity down there. If you take those steps, take the first step and start moving, I feel like your chariot all of a sudden will get up and go with you. Uh, tell me about this um, Ace of Staffs. This is your new opportunity. What about it? Yep, getting unstuck. Devil reversed. Exactly what we want it to be. We want that. We want to get unstuck. We want these two cards to release us. Uh, tell me about this Emperor and the Death card, both reversed. Ten of Pentacles reversed. So we can't have fulfillment. We can't have new opportunities. Ten of Pentacles is reversed, and the Ace of Pentacles is right there, saying, "Look, if you'll bring down that tower, there it is." We will give you the Ace of Pentacles, but you got to initiate this. So whatever this is, it has to do with accepting a new offer. Now, listen, this, this new offer could be the thing getting you unstuck. So in other words, none of this might have to do with you. This could be someone else who has to come in with that offer in hand and say, Hey, Cancer, I've been stuck. Here's the offer, you know, so if it's not you, this could all be vice versa, but because you got lack consciousness, it makes me feel like it's you because these are your advice from spirit. Sometimes we don't have to think on such a grand scale, but sometimes it is grand scale. Sometimes you wake up and you're in a whole new world in a very positive light. I mean, this would be a really nice world to be in. Look at it. It's back there behind the veil. So a lot of this could just be all metaphorical saying, hey, Cancer, we want you to focus on your future and really focus on manifesting in a lot of happiness, a lot of joy, a lot of opposite of what you've been through the last few years. Just start focusing forward, uh, future forward and allow the Ten of Pentacles, the Ace of Pentacles, the whole new world to come in. Allow, allow the Ace of Wands, allow yourself to release whatever holds you back that scares you. It could be, you know, negative uh, programming that has made you feel like you are not worthy of that, you know, because look, I want you to see this devil puppets these people with their tongue right? This devil could represent somebody in your life, someone in your past, someone in your present, someone, someone who made you feel you weren't worthy of this, but you are. Spirit goes, oh, just you focus on it. You are worthy of it. Release it. Let that tower come down. This tower could be a move. This tower could be a change in for you that you've been waiting for or haven't done because of fear or because you feel like you're not worthy of this balance that'll come in when it happens. But, oh, yes, you most certainly are because if you don't let that devil hold you back, whatever it is, it could be your own thoughts, your own fears. That Ace of Wands comes in. And that Ace of Wands is also the Ace of Pentacles and it's also the Ten of Pentacles, some kind of um, real stability within your... Um, within within your foundation is here on the other side of the walkway that you got to walk down but you've got to be the one to do it but there is something here with this knight of pentacles saying an offer might come in and the only thing that's going to keep you from your destiny will be you or listening to negative um it's like um the record's on skip, you know, the record's on skip and the record is whatever this devil is to you, to each of you, it's probably going to be something different. All right. Let me look at the Hierophant and justice, please. I feel like they're working together to bring you something amazing. Tell me about the Hierophant and justice. This is the high priest and justice magician in reverse time to manifest in grab up all those tools we talked about over there those tools are so necessary for this balance for you spirits trying to help you help you see something look at this card at the bottom of the deck the four of pentacles in this deck the celtic universal deck but look at how this person's blindfolded and look at the beauty look at you can even see that the flowers smell good there's beauty right in front of him but he, he can't see it so he can't go down the new path because he feels like he doesn't see the new path. Like he doesn't see the beauty right in front of him. And the beauty is that new path. The one that's being carved out and created for you. 
it leads you behind the veil there to your happiness and joy. Um, but you're actually going to have to go down there and not let anything. And if this is a person that holds you back, don't let them hold you back either. Because it's so important for you to say, I don't care about the devil or the reverse emperor or even the reverse magician. If this is a person who manipulates you and I don't care what gender they are. But uh, for some of you, this is negative self-talk or somebody in the past that used to talk to you this way that has made you feel that you aren't worthy of this. And you definitely 100% are. And Spirit says, we got the beauty right in front of you, Cancer. Just take the blindfold off. And if there's something you want to do or something you need to do or something you want to do with your life, Cancer, don't let fear or a person or anyone stop you. You go. All right, let's get you here after tarot. Boy, do I feel this reading. I have like goosebumps from head to toe. All right, good reading, Cancer. And, you know, I don't want to pressure you guys. Of course, you have to make your own decisions when you're ready. And that's really what this is about, too. Spirit can uh, help you, guide you, but you have to be the one to, you know, make the moves when you're ready. You put your, you put this two of wands in the upright, you accept offers and new opportunities, you put your chariot and drive and you go when you cancer are ready. All right, let's go with it. Spirit and angels, anyone for the highest good. What is next here? What is next for anyone with cancer placements or anyone else who's guided to see the cancer reading and resonates with it? Again, you do not have to be a cancer, even though this is the cancer reading. To resonate with this reading what do we need to know yeah absolutely look the strength to go enjoy your life the strength to enjoy it i am going to have the strength to fight the devil whatever holds me back whatever thing it is or person place or thing whatever it is and i'm going to go enjoy this life i'm going to go down that path i'm going to go behind that veil I'm going to go enjoy the things that I've been holding myself from and back from enjoying. Some of you might want to move and just haven't done it yet because you feel like, you know, I don't know, dot, dot, dot. It's going to be different for each of you. Tell me about the um, Ten of Cups and the Strength card for Cancer, please. What's next? We're going, okay, I was just going to say we're going, absolutely, absolutely, there it is. What I was saying is we're going into that following week. Remember, these are two-week readings. Look at that. Cutting, getting cut free. Remember, we couldn't see the beauty in front of us. Couldn't see it. The blindfold's on. We don't know that that path is where our happiness lies. Look at it. It's where our happiness lies. If we have the strength to take the blindfold off and cut ourselves free from whatever's been holding us back, get in our chariot like I talked about and put that puppy in drive, you're going to see Ten of Pentacles right there behind it. You're going to see Ten of Pentacles, Ace of Pentacles, Ace of Wands. It is a tower moment because you are going to cause change by making, having the strength to move forward on into whatever this happiness and joy is, to take the blindfold off, take that stuck energy remember we started out at the very beginning with this exact energy but see in this deck we are getting cut free from it this is spirit coming in and saying hey let's cut you free this could be a person even cutting you free but whatever this is the negative self-talk or the negative talk from a person that held you back that has affected your foundation it's all about to change because your foundation is about to look glorious but it has to do with you having the strength to move forward into new opportunities. Remember, new opportunities are there for you. Are you going to see the hand coming out there? Are you going to take that opportunity? Are you going to take the opportunity to move forward to get your chariot moving forward? That's you. Cancer, good luck with this. Uh, this was reversed, uh, but not for long. Okay, Cancer, you know how I say, I hope you're still here at the end and that you don't leave because messages can come out and I have one for you. Um, as soon as I started putting all the cards away, I got a message from Spirit saying that some of you are going to receive an offer. That was that page handing, I mean, it wasn't a page, it was a knight, handing the pentacle to someone. 
someone is going to receive an offer for something or an offer. So you're going to receive either an offer to sell your house or you're going to receive like an employment offer or something like this. This is going to be the offer that um, allows for this new opportunity. For So for someone, some of you, you'll make a decision to uh, take this new opportunity and it's going to lead to your 10 of pentacles, ace of pentacles, ace of wands, you know, your new your brand new um, cycles that we saw at the very beginning, right? Everywhere. For others of you, you're going to receive like a lump sum of money that's going to help you make this transformation and your new life is behind the veil because you're going to receive, you know, something uh, tangible. So let me know, guys. I'll talk to you soon. Thanks for being, I hope most of you are hearing this at the very end. I'm going to try to like dub it in somewhere so that you guys don't leave. Okay. Talk to you soon. Thanks. Also, don't forget daily readings are out there. Weekly readings are out there. Monthly readings are out there. Please. And well, this is a weekly reading. Please enjoy them. Holidays are coming. I am working diligently to get caught up. And once I'm completely caught up with everything else, I'm going to try to start working on your new year readings. It's my dream, my wish to have them out there early for you guys. So you might even have them for Christmas. I'm really hoping. And for Kwanzaa. Anyway, guys, they won't be out in time for um, Hanukkah. I'm sorry, guys, but that's not even possible. But Anyway, you have all the other things. You have weeklies, dailies, and all that. Everybody have a great week this week. I'll talk to you soon. Don't forget to like this video and keep this section of the channel growing. I appreciate you cancers. You guys rock like rock stars for me all the time. Thank you. Talk to you guys soon. Bye.